Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of the Overy podcast, the podcast where we dive deep into the live stories of gamers and streamers from all over the world. Today, I'm very happy to have a cosplayer with me. Her name is Laura. Welcome, Laura. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. How Harry. are you? I'm How Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's uh, really nice, uh, nice to be here, and it's uh, freaking awesome to talk to you again. Awesome. Like, so, how are you doing? I'm feeling uh, better. I was there was so much going on when it was DreamHack and so on, but now it's going a little bit more relaxed. So I'm relaxing and streaming, trying to stream every day. So I'm feeling good. Oh, you stream every day? Not every day. I try to Monday to Friday. Uh, but not on the weekend. Uh, and then if there's a cosplay project I'm doing or something else going on, then I usually stream when I can. But when I'm, I don't have anything to do or I'm really relaxed, then I'm like trying to stream as much as possible. Nice. Okay. So, uh, and uh, how long have you been streaming? Mm, I started like streaming, streaming was one year ago. I really wanted to like do more streaming and uh, try to talk with everybody and just do cosplay, play some games. Uh, but it was maybe more than two years ago, maybe. I did mm. some uh, little now and then right. like, streaming. I didn't put so much time. It was more like, hello, goodbye, then I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> like a really long time and then I come back. <laughs> And now, now you're really going, you're going yeah. full force at it, kind of. Not, yeah. You're doing as much as you can anyway. So are you watching the World Cup? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching intense, I was, how do you say it? In intensively or? In intensively. Yeah, exactly. When the Swedish was still in the World Cup. Do you mean? Football? Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 that's the I one. Like, <laughs> We're talking about the like, same <laughs> thing. Thank God. <laughs> I was like, which are you talking? Uh, so I was looking at it a lot because I have a few fans who really love football. So I was uh. like, okay, watching, watching. And then I really can get into it. I was like, oh my God, ah, aggressive and screaming when I was watching the football match. But when Sweden lost, I haven't really watched it afterwards. Sorry, Heart, but I saw, um, I saw that uh, France, yeah, uh, Frankrike, uh, France, France won in uh, Monday, wasn't it? Maybe, yeah. Uh, yesterday or yesterday, I don't know. Yeah, so they, they will go to the finals against Croatia. And I have a few Croatian oh. uh, viewers, so they're really excited. It's the first what? time ever Croatia makes it to the finals in the World Cup. So well, I got some what? really hyped <laughs> hyped viewers. So good what? luck. Good luck to Croatia and uh, yeah. I guess good luck to France too, but I mean it's it feels better to go for the underdogs. Like, I don't know why. Like, yeah. Yeah. I I was so hoping for Japan. Oh, I Japan? So, yeah. Oh. I was like, please, please, please. And they lost. I was like, no, it would be so cool so cool but um i wasn't like so like this is like the almost the first year i have been really following world cup oh, before okay, i was okay. like not all in, interested in, no, okay. in it i was like oh is it again okay wow. <laughs> okay I, I have no idea wow why <laughs> why are you more into the world cup this year than before do you think? Uh, because of my friends and we were hanging uh, a lot lot more together uh mm. we did uh, more stuff together and everything and uh, they they were like okay now is this match we need to watch it and i was like okay okay and then i really get got into it have you uh have you prioritized watching a game over streaming this world cup uh cancel the stream no. just to watch no 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 <laughs> you can tell no. the truth here it's a no, safe I place <laughs> we, no it, one will <laughs> okay I, i'm thinking about it i'm yeah. like is there yeah okay so no not really you you know no, your you got really. you prioritize is it because did you have to choose or were you was it never like you didn't and maybe you um, never had to like make it this like a choice no it. but if there it was wasn't okay so i'm going to tell you ask you this question if there was yeah. like a semi-final sweden was in the semi-finals and yeah 
and you were supposed to be streaming that time, yeah. what would you do? Uh, I think I have would have the TV on so I can hear what's going on. And if they were like talking and started to scream, I would like run and be like, <laughs> what's going on? Then like, okay, nothing is going on. Or maybe I should have it like a small, small screen in the corner. Like, oh, okay, the football is going on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I was trying to look uh, at the match uh, with France. And what, what was the country they were playing against? I don't remember. Um, wait, <laughs> <We> are... <laughs> I should know it. Belgium? What? Was it Belgium? I think it was. Uh, but I was trying. <laughs> if, if I'm wrong, <laughs> I know that people are going Everybody nuts like, out there. Like, you if you're listening. Like, well, you guys can't. You're saying you watch World Cup. You can't even know. We're like, eh, sorry. <laughs> I honestly, I'm not that into like sports and the football like but but it's fun mm -hmm. to watch some games and like just like mm -hmm. especially when sweden or like some country yeah, that you're I, like exactly and that's why uh i was watching it most because Sweden was like so, i wanted to be like yeah sweden are you patriotic like you cheer for sweden uh a lot no if if it's uh swedish or finland then i'm finland right so uh, <laughs> you, you got a connection to finland what is yeah. your what is your connection to Finland? So let's go a short story of my life. Beautiful, <laughs> but, let's uh, do it. <laughs> uh, I was born in Finland in Helsinki, or yeah, in near Helsinki. Uh, both of my parents are Finnish, so I lived in Finland till I was nine year old, nine yeah. years old. Yeah. Uh, then my mother met a Swedish man, and then we moved to Sweden and uh, they were like okay we will test if you like to live in Sweden if you really don't like it we will move back to Finland but it went well and we stayed here and now I've been living here not, uh, 18 years so wait the, if it goes well you would stay in yeah Sweden? if we if we kids like to stay in Sweden if we like it then we stay my mom was like, oh, so she, it was so, like depending on how you felt about moving to a whole new country and yeah, how well exactly. you could adapt to that country. Oh, uh, was, exactly, be yeah. because I couldn't understand like anything. Like everything was papal bubble when people were talking. <laughs> and I was like, okay, like what the hell? But uh, one thing I was a little bit irritating, but it, of course we were young. Like in uh, my class, some of the people were like choking because I couldn't understand Swedish. So so they were like, say this, say that. And I was like, yeah. And then the teacher will come and be like, what are you teaching her? Naughty words. Oh. Try to stop it. <laughs> and I yeah, was like, of course. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Of course, it's the bad words. It's the first words mm -hmm. you learn in any, any new language for some reason. Uh, exactly. <laughs> and but you were nine years old and mm -hmm. then you adapted well, like you learn. I guess you learn. Did you learn the language quickly? It was very natural for you. Like you maybe mm -hmm. you don't remember much about it. Or... It, it took uh, I remember uh, quite well. Um, it was hard in the beginning because I didn't really understand the N and et. And uh, in Sweden, you write so freaking weird. Like in Finland, it's so easier, much easier. And uh, oh, yeah. some other stuff. I thought this was so freaking hard. Uh, but in the beginning, I went in uh, Swedish Finnish school. So we learned everything in Finnish and Swedish, everything. Uh, so right. I didn't need to speak any Swedish there. Mm. So I was always talking Finnish. Uh, so when I started at gymnasium, yeah. high school, yeah. is it high, high school? Uh, there I needed to start talking Swedish. Uh, Are there any everybody... Swedish Finnish high schools that you can go to where the edu uh, where the I don't lessons know. I don't... are in Finnish? No? Maybe not because I, I feel I think maybe it's so... like. Uh, uh, there are there there has to be Swedish Finnish schools up until before you start high school. Like there's mm -hmm. like there's like I think maybe there's like regulated that there has to be because there are there is like a um, kind of big uh, mm -hmm. group of uh, Finnish people living in Sweden or like that. Have, mm. uh, so. Yeah, there are so many Finnish people living in Sweden. It's insane. Um, but yeah, then I just started talking Swedish and and I learned okay yeah but, uh, with the schools I don't know like in Finland you you need to learn Swedish in eight nine 
no seven to ninth grade you are you need to learn Swedish everyone has to take mm. Swedish lessons yeah. in eight, seven to ninth grade in Finland yeah yeah, yeah. why <laughs> because uh, Finland was uh, Swedish <laughs> for a long 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 time but, ago yeah that's, <laughs> that's, a, like... that's a great reason <laughs> <laughs> exactly but uh, like i have been talking with my cousins about it a lot because they live in helsinki in finland and i was like how do you feel about it that it's still in finland and they were like some people really really hate it they got really hate it but some mm. people are like it's good because if you have swedish you can uh, move to sweden and uh, work in sweden for a short time and move back to finland like you you have i think it's just good to learn more languages it's e easier to like uh, if you have two or three languages and you can learn something else too so i think it's okay as long as it's mm. it's not like oh you, you need to learn it from Right. really long time yeah i can see the both i can see the positive uh, sides mm. of learning swedish um i mean it would be like it would be a positive thing to know finnish for swedish yeah. people as well in the same way but mm. but it's not really like something we think about because it mm. never ha has i don't think it ever has been a part of our school system to learn I, yeah. i don't know but how important is your relationship to finland today uh very important like uh when i was uh in my teenage years i didn't care about it so much i was like oh drama friends blah, blah. Uh, but now when i'm uh, getting a little bit more older um uh, i think about more my cousins my family my father lives still in finland and uh, so i want to go there as much as possible and see them talk to them know how they are feeling and yeah it's important i i still want to talk finnish because i never want to forget how to talk finnish cool. so it's the language is really really important to me does your uh, uh dad have also like started like a new family like a um, there, no or? he has a girl uh, girlfriend girl girl oh my what am i from my mouth is saying girlfriend, uh, yeah. yeah girlfriend uh and they are they have been together quite long now i don't mm. remember how long but they have been and she's really nice too and uh we were at their summer place in finland too in, and it was freaking nice Kaju, uh, stuga yeah the cottage uh, or cottage. summer house <laughs> summer house middle in the forest so nice. uh it was really nice okay so you have a strong connection to finland still and you want to you will you never want to forget the language you want to keep it up what um mm. Is it because you feel like it's a part of you, who you are, and you want to, like, um, you don't want to forget about it? Or, like, is, are there other reasons, like, why it's important, like, to... Like... Mm, not forget about where I'm from, from the beginning. Like, where's my... where was, I was born. Uh, yeah, the language is really important because they are... In the ending, there aren't so many people who speak Finnish. Mm. So I think it's important. And many uh, f friends of mine who has like a Finnish uh, parent, they haven't like talked Finnish to them. So they have a never learned Finnish. So they are like, oh my God, I would love to had learned Finnish. Ah, okay. and so it's like the language is really, really important to me. And uh, of, yeah, where I'm from and there. Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. So do you speak Finnish on your streams? Uh, sometimes when there are people from Finland right there and uh, say something, I'm usually like, moi moi, miten mene, miten te voitte. Uh, but I'm thinking about having, uh, 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 because there are some people who want me to have only a Swedish stream some days and yeah. some people who only want to have a Finnish stream. Uh, okay. So I'm thinking about having like English couple of days on week and then I only have like on Friday Finnish stream and then on Thursday only swedish streams and no english just uh... why do you want to separate to into different streams and not have like one like it just always have a little bit of swedish a little bit of uh, finnish <laughs> and mostly english or something like why uh, i have been 
doing it a little bit, not so much, but I usually throw in a little bit and try to talk uh, in those three languages. But uh, those uh, who follow me and support me, they have ask, asked about it. So I'm like, yeah, why not to test it? And hmm. if it doesn't work, we're just going to have all in one together. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, yeah. Yeah, but it's nice, like you get at least, yeah, it's no harm in uh, experimenting and trying. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so, so yeah, tell me more about your stream and what, what do you do mm -hmm. on your streams? Um, in the beginning, when I started streaming, it was just gaming and played League of Legends because I was so into League of Legends. So I was just playing League. Uh, after that, I started to play other games. Uh, but then there were people who asked about, uh, about my cosplay stuff. So they were like, uh, it would be so freaking awesome to see how you build your stuff. And then I was like, what? That's a great idea. Thanks, guys. Wow. I'm going to build some stuff in the, instead on the stream. And uh, so I I asked it uh, for my birthday present for last year, I think it was. Maybe it was last year or maybe a year. That I asked it about ha uh, getting a webcam. I was like, yeah, I, I would love because they asked it about what do you want to have to, for your birthday present? Mm. Uh, so all my family went together and bought me a webcam and I was like, oh my God, now I have two. So then I started doing cosplay streams. So right now it's usually cosplay and sometimes gaming and random stuff, <laughs> what I feel like doing. <laughs> so you got two main things, like you got video games and you got the cosplay and mm. cosplay, you just... You... You just realized the, from the viewers, they, they asked about it and you're like, whoa, yeah, perfect. I could yeah. do this on the stream live for you guys. And, mm. uh, and now it's the thing that you do the most. You do mostly mm. cosplay. So mm. when you, so let's talk about the games first and then we'll talk about mm. the cosplay. So the games, what, what games do you play when, when you play now, for example? Uh, it's a hard question, but I play everything except sport games yeah i have really hard playing like fifa or what's the name all the sport games i have really hard playing those so i'm usually um scary games i love scary games shooting games pubg i like pubg uh, i played fortnite but i don't know i haven't played it for a while now uh assassin greed uh, origins i'm okay. stuck with that oh my god i'm like running around i want to have one hundred percent but oh, like right. adventure yeah. puzzle scary games Ach achievement Achieve. hunter you want to yeah. accomplish everything oh yeah oh yeah if i fell in love with some game i want to see every achievement what i can do in that game so i'm nice. like yeah okay yes okay okay so a little bit of everything and mm. horror games too oh uh, horror. do you like horror games i i love horror games I don't, do do you like horror games? <laughs> no, but I played Outlast <laughs> two on the stream. You have played Outlast two. I have yeah. played the first one. I want to play the other oh, one. Oh, well, you, <laughs> is that it good? Ending is beautiful. <laughs> what? So okay. Lovely I it. and peaceful. <laughs> nothing oh. bad happens. Uh, nothing weird at all. It's so uh... it's gonna be Outlast three. <laughs> they are gonna release a third game, aren't they? Really? Probably. Uh, I don't know. You I have don't... seen this. You played the second. It feels like how you are explaining the end. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It's it's a nightmare. Uh -huh. The ending is like okay. absolutely terrifying. No, but yeah, it's like it's like a not terrifying, wanna... more disturbing. It's very disturbing. But it's a. I had like I I because I don't usually like playing uh, mm. horror games because I guess I'm scared. And uh, and then one of my viewers challenged me, and Ooh. if I lost the challenge, I had to play that game on the stream. Yeah, and of course I lost. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was oh, really good. scared about playing this game, but mm. but it was kind of I think it almost helps you when you're streaming, for you yeah. to have someone there to share the experience with you, and um, yeah, that's and, so true. And Outlast, it was there's like. Yeah, I got I got scared sometimes, but it wasn't that terror. Mm. Like it wasn't that I didn't panic. <clears throat> I just got scared, and 
it's a still like I like the I like the you know when you get chased down like a cargo yeah. monster and you have to find your way out but you don't know oh. where to go but you're like trying like, to figure it out as you're running because you don't want to get stabbed by a tentacle in your back through your shoulder and you're like, <laughs> they call you <laughs> I mean oh they, then you don't then you don't like uh, alien isolation like I haven't have played, played it, it because I'm not that, uh, naturally yeah. attracted to those games but. <laughs> okay. I might mm. like try more. I like to, you know, op like I like to be open minded and try mm. new things. So. Yeah, sure. It's a it's a good game. I haven't finished it yet, but it's it's good. Finish it. <laughs> <laughs> oh funny, yeah, guys. <laughs> um, Assassin's Creed. I never played Assassin's mm. Creed, but that's what? what... <laughs> okay, sorry. you need to play the second Assassin, Assassin Two. Okay. With Ezio or Black Flag, if you like pirates. Uh, I'll probably go with the second then. I'm not mm. that big on pirates anyway. And if you then say it... that, yeah. Mm. So that's you... good because I like to, if there's like five games in a series, in a video game mm. series, it's hard to know where to start. And sometimes mm. it's better to just start with a, a, a game that someone recommends, which is, yeah. uh, well, play this. This is a good game from this series. Uh, so I, no, then you can, maybe you love it, all like, of them. Play play the second like it's one of uh, like everybody who has played all the assassin grid usually likes the second one most okay. it's really good also play Hel health blade oh the story yes. of, uh, that's really good that's i really good. i think i would actually really enjoy it because it's very like it's very like from what i read and watched it's very like about the psychological journey yeah. and the psyche of like of, mm. of someone who is mentally ill or yeah. is it yeah yeah she has the uh, schizo schizophrenia yeah so yeah, she I heard hears it. uh noises and everything so it, it's so freaking cool to see like uh because you can hear some voices in the r right and left uh, it's so freaky like it's so well done and it gets a little bit scary in the ending but it's good still good you would like the, like it yeah I okay think. nice <laughs> yeah it's nice did you stream Hellblade? Um, no, that was, um, I only had like a couple of days being like not doing anything after, uh, when was it? I don't remember when I was working with this, uh, Alaria, uh, then I said, decided like, okay, I just need to have a good game. Just sit down and play, like sit and play nothing, not to do nothing else. You like, yeah. I love streaming. It's really fun, but sometimes when you like fi find one game you just want to sit like so into it because i you know like usually i start talking a lot when i game i'm like doo -doo -doo, then i'm looking i'm like blah, 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 blah. then i forget <laughs> yeah. like about the game i'm like oh shit i need to play it. Then like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i need to like okay now i just need to focus on the game yeah so, to get the full experience uh yeah, more exactly. of the game when you like it's a bit is yeah sometimes when you stream like you you're only 50 percent in the game or like you mm. well, divided attention uh mm. so i feel like i could go on talking about video games <laughs> okay. but i i will actually stop myself and because uh, you are mostly mostly doing uh cosplay we mm. might we might get back to video games later on if we like want mm. to but 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 your streams are mostly cosplay mm -hmm. so uh, so Tell me about the cosplay that you're working on right now, and then we I can ask you more questions. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, I'm working. I'm reworking on my Alaria uh, from what World is... of Warcraft. Okay, okay. Uh, that, she's that's a what I was character. Ask. Yeah, she's a character from uh, World of Warcraft. I did it for DreamHack Winter. We were a group cosplay, so there's a group. Uh, we were a group, different characters from World of Warcraft. Uh, so we did, uh, decided to have this character a couple months before DreamHack. Mm. Uh, and I only had like three weeks to make this because I was working at some other stuff at the same time. Mm. So I was so stressed about this outfit, but I made it in time and uh, I'm quite happy. Like uh, you can see more uh, of the whole picture of the outfit on my Facebook or Instagram. There's some it's... pictures of it. 
this okay. is perfect to say. So uh, since this cosplay is usually a visual experience, mm -hmm. you all of you, if you hear this or watch this, you should go to, for example, you can go to twitch.tv slash Laura underscore craft. Yeah. And then on Facebook, what, what's your name on Facebook? Uh, Laura Craft. Laura also. Craft. Not Croft, Craft. <laughs> no. Craft. And it's so good. Such a <laughs> witty name. You, because you're cosplayer crafting stuff. Mm. And then on Instagram, you are. Uh, Laura Craft also. Laura Craft. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. So just go and check out the cosplay. It's really well done. Uh, and you. it's really inspiring. I love, like, just. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you were working on that and you only had three weeks. I think three weeks, mm -hmm. isn't that a very short time to make a well, whole costume like? Very, very short time. And at the same time, I needed to travel away too. Uh, also, I need to travel away. So I was like, uh, one week I took the outfit with me where I traveled and sat in the hotel room and painted some of the stuff because I was so like, I was like, I need to be finished with this before DreamHack. Uh, so usually uh, if I want to uh, put like more details and really put uh, like have more time, I usually want to have maybe two months, a little bit more, two months, but it depends which kind of cosplay you are doing uh, because this one has more build armor and I loved uh, I love building stuff I'm not so good at sewing stuff mm. so if I need to suit something it's going to take more time to me to make that cosplay so this one was and also this one didn't have so many parts so it was kind of cute uh, good mm. uh, but there's still some parts that I haven't made so I need to make them before a convention next week if i'm going there we will see so you're more of a builder than a sewer a su yes a sewer sewer sewer, yeah. so <laughs> Sober. A, sewer. a sewer is under the street is where the water goes like from the drain <laughs> but not a sewer okay anyway you know what i mean uh yeah and um Okay, so and that's what you're you're working on, and you mm -hmm. hopefully you want to get done before mm -hmm. the Narcon convention yes, ex yes. next week. Okay, uh, cool. Before Narcon, otherwise it's still okay. Uh, oh. But if I feel like I want to build something new, I'm thinking about doing Wonder Woman. In Wonder Woman, yeah, and, cool. Yeah, from the movie. Mm, you almost have, the... you have a little bit of her. Like, doesn't she have long? Dark hair as well. Yeah, she has a long dark. She has... she has really strong cheekbones. I have seen. She's so freaking beautiful. I'm like, oh. um, so <clears throat> I need to go a little bit more with the makeup to get like the strong cheekbones and everything that she has. And that's also a really, really like uh, important thing. Not not that important. Like, uh, I, like I didn't think about makeup so much in the beginning when mm. I started doing cosplay. Uh, but now after I've done that couple of years now, oh, not couple of years, uh, longer, um, you really start to think about how to put shading on your face mm. if you really want to look like the character. Uh, but out of, uh, some cosplayers uh, usually sometimes use the same makeup because then it's easier for people to recognize like oh this is this cosplayer instead oh. of trying to be the character mm. like you have done the outfit but you have the your own makeup instead of having the character makeup so you yeah. recommend that going instead of like having your the the, the same makeup you recommend mm. to go fully like look at the character and how like and put on the makeup that will make mm. you like be even more look even more like that character and go into the you, I think uh, if you are really interested in makeup, you should like totally do it. But otherwise, it doesn't like. I know some people doesn't want to wear makeup. They hate wearing makeup, or they don't know how to use makeup. Then it's like it's okay. Like uh, only thing, put some blah uh, like uh, puder. What is puder in English? Powder. <laughs> powder. I oh my know. god. Oh. <laughs> yeah, powder. So put just a little bit powder on the face that will be enough because then when people take pictures it will not uh, your face is not going to look so sweaty so right. powder will be enough but if you really want to go the fa farther farther way with this the cosplay does. then you do the makeup lenses is a big deal too 
like choosing the exactly eye color and uh, mm. that's the thing do like you, if someone do, has, you, do yeah? you think um one should think about which body type they have and go for a cosplay that is like a character that is more resembling mm. your own body type or do you think like it's okay to go Mm. anywhere <laughs> like uh, right. I I for my personal I think everybody should do what hell they ever want to do if they love that character why why shouldn't they make that character why shouldn't they be their superhero that they love mm. but that has been a really 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 big discussion in cosplay community uh, mm. because there are people who think like no you can't you need to be this tall you need to be this small to be this character because you can find all the information about about the character like oh it's this long and so but um mm. i think everybody should do like a character that if they like that character do it in your way how you want to re represent this character instead of uh yeah Be yeah because body type is not something you can craft or so like you can't exactly. you can't change your own body type mm. so it's like it's not like if if you don't have a body type that's Uh, mm. that is like looking like the, exactly like the character it's not like mm. you can you know go to uh, <laughs> fix it yeah like and be like it. okay yeah. now i fix it for I next put on week makeup, like a... <laughs> now i'm taller <laughs> yeah it's yeah, not how exactly. it works <laughs> so and, uh, and the only thing like uh, the best thing is to build and sew stuff for your body mm. not like like the like the character's body ah. for your body like think about oh okay i want to have a corset but do the corset as you want to have it on you or the shorts or the shirt instead of being like oh the shirt is like this small or this big on the right. be like okay they will fit me perfectly like this if right. i do it and then it will look freaking good when you do it like that when you do it for yourself right and... try to transform yourself into the character Don't yeah. try to, like, um, be like you know. Yeah, adapt your costume like after you. So like, exactly. Also, like, isn't it more comfortable just if you like you? Oh you know, my god! Have to think yes. about that because I heard about cosplay. Yeah, it's like a torture to walk around in some of the outfits. Yeah, and that was the thing in the beginning when I started cosplaying was that I, I just was thinking about the character. I was like, okay, the character looks like this. I want to have like this. And the ending, I was like walking like a... <laughs> He was like, okay, not anymore. Was it painful or what were you... Was it, uh, why was it uncomfortable? Yeah, painful. And also like, I, like it was um, really uncomfortable to have the outfit on. Instead of just thinking smart solutions and stuff like that, it was like, I need to have it exactly like that character. So like uh, my karma, I don't know if you guys can see it uh, here, up here in the sky. It's it's a little bit cut off for the people who are watching the There. YouTube. Oh, no, it's, like it's like wings. It's really still a little bit hard to see. And, uh, oh, shit. Ugh. I'm sweating my table. Uh, so that one has wings on it in the back and it hurt. So I got like few scars in oh. my back uh, from uh, not anymore, but I got like few back then when I was and also a oh, widow maker from Overwatch. Oh, when I did that, I needed to take, okay, this is going to be for people who are a li little bit older, but I needed to take, can I say it? Maybe I can't say it. It's probably okay because it's like an artist cosplay thing. Yeah, but you know, we don't make our outfits. It's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> we just make our outfits. It's open here, in the middle. Right. And uh, um, so it's really hard to sew it right, and I hate sewing. Uh, so we needed to tape my boobies with el tape. Duct tape. Yeah. Duct tape. And when we started to peel it off after the day, <sighs> oof, <laughs> it was like <laughs> scars here in the back and everything. I was like, why did I do that? That's strong tape. Doesn't it like almost like rip off some of the skin? <laughs> exactly. That happened. It ripped my skin. Oh, and geez. I was like, but it, the thing was that I didn't have the time to make the bodysuit as uh, I wanted to have it. So I was like, ah. Okay, we need to do a quick solution. So we were like taping it.
But uh, would you like to cosplay something? Someday? Yeah, of course. I I like I think I yeah I I dream about it, and uh, it never okay. happens. It, the closest I came to cosplaying is when I put on like a I have a from Pokemon Ash Ketchum like just <gasps> a shirt and a cap, Ash. and it's like and I had like finger gloves and it was I was playing Pokemon Go in that mm. outfit r riding around on a bicycle in the oh. city so that's the house actually then you have done cosplay it's I mean, your first cosplay yeah it's my first cosplay <laughs> my first and only but what do you recommend no. for no no i mean i like i hope i will do more but uh, so will. far it's the only one I... what do you recommend it, it... for people who wants to try some or start like uh, oh just want to i don't know start cosplaying but they don't know or where just to try start. it like if mm. you just want to try cosplay where do you go? What do you do? Do you um, buy something there, or make there's, it uh, different kind of pages you can go and watch. Uh, like if you live in Sweden, there's a Sweden cosplay community in Facebook. You can go and uh, uh, like uh, there you can find more cosplayers. Um, and if you want to do your mo if you want to cosplay, start cosplaying. Uh, you can borrow outfit for a friend maybe or uh, mm. you can um, you don't need to make everything like that's the thing everybody mistakes that you need to make everything and sue everything you can buy cosplays from uh, other people or uh, order them uh, so or just do something simple and test have you, bought, you like it. bought costumes outfits no you I haven't it done it yeah uh, mm. I have. Uh, I was thinking about uh, thinking about buying a bodysuit for my widowmaker, but I am deciding to make it myself because I want to learn. <laughs> so right. I was like, eh. uh, but it like you can still buy. It doesn't really matter. It, it only it matters if you compete in cosplay. Right, cosplay. you can't. If you if you're competing, you can't buy or. Yeah. or... Yeah. Uh, yeah, there are different rules, but usually in Sweden, it's like you can compete with the bot cosplay uh, because uh, if you get the same scores as someone who has built their cosplay, it's going to be a little bit cheating. Like, uh, yeah, not the if, yeah. <laughs> because it's still not just about how you look. It's also the craft that you put in. Exactly. Mm. Mm. So so what, what do you, at competitions, what... What do they? What do you get oh. points for? Oh, it's okay. Oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> you were kind of froze for just half a second. Yeah. Or, you or got the robot now. voice. Whoa. <laughs> so what do the? Oh, uh, what do at competitions? What do the judges what? look at? What What do they, do they give points for? Um, uh, usually, it's for the craft and the sewing and uh, different kind of material you have used. Uh, how you have. If there's something that went wrong when you were working at the cosplay, how you could uh, come up with a solution, solution, and uh, mm. make it like fix it, uh, and how well you have uh, followed the character's design and put it in real life. Mm. Uh, if you have the same details and same wigs, but it depends also which category you are cosplay competition with. Yeah, well, Categ yeah, which yeah. category you, you, you compete in. Yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, okay. Because there are like novice, beginner, master, and so on. Then you need to choose exactly what you feel like. You Have you are. won any contests? Uh, I It was a long time ago when I competed. Oh, <laughs> I, haven't okay. got, I stopped competing uh, because I got so stressed and so like... Mm. How do you tellings in Riktat? Very, very competitive. I right. got. So I was like, okay, I don't enjoy doing this and competing. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go with trying to work with different companies, uh, work with the um, work with cosplay as on that way instead. So, just so, so cosplay like is your work. Is it your full time job? Yeah, that's the most thing I'm doing right now. It's cosplay and streaming and uh, then other stuff going to events with the companies and being with them. I'm, so you... I, I don't, sometimes I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing. It's yeah. like, <laughs> who's, who's paying you there. for 
uh, making cosplays or it uh, it depends like uh, if there can are... I ask is it a sensitive question I don't know no oh, no 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 it's... there are many times people ask about it it's like if there's a gaming company who wants to have the character on uh, on a convention or a event then they may be ordered that or if there's another company who has wants to have a hardware company who wants to have a character in an event then they yeah, then you discuss mm. about the material, everything, and hours and work, and so on. Like uh, with MSI, I have been working a lot with them because they are so freaking cool. Mm. Uh, I have done Tracer and Widowmaker for them, and then there's other company I have stood at their boots at events and be like, "Hello," with the cosplay outfit, yeah, and talk with people who love the game. Do you? And, uh, oh. Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> you can. What do you enjoy most? Like, do you enjoy going out to the events and, like, you know, representing a character? Like, for I guess, mm -hmm. like, that could be quite hard to just stand. Uh, like, you have to be out there for like a few days in a character, mm -hmm. and you know, s maybe spreading positivity and like mm -hmm. always be like, yay! <laughs> or, like, uh, and it, that's kind of different from sitting in your studio crafting. Mm -hmm. It's a very different uh, mm -hmm. thing. So uh ed do you what do you like more and like how do you feel about going to uh, these events i i really like it because first i sit here create the outfit and uh create the, uh, do everything and then i'm like i just want to put it on and look if it looks good and walk around and be like yeah like <laughs> just see people who like the game the same game right or just they are in the same event like the same stuff and i'm like yeah i know blah 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 but i don't usually go into the character so i don't become like tracer or widowmaker right or uh, other character i usually am i'm myself and like screaming but if someone is uh <laughs> Almost like that. Like when I had my Widowmaker, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. They're like, oh, that's not Widowmaker. <laughs> <laughs> but when I'm Tracer, people are like, oh my God, you're like Tracer. Oh, I'm yes. like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, They're right. like, okay, that's a better character for me to go around. Uh, but then I usually, I just love it because I meet people. I meet people who follow me, me on my pages or meet new friends. Like mm. it's, I, I love it like coming out from my hole i just want to go out sometimes <laughs> <laughs> i just want to be in the sunlight <laughs> exactly sometimes but not so much <laughs> exactly so how does um um when did you why did you start with cosplay like how did you get into cosplay and when mm. did it happen uh it was when i started high school uh in um picture and build the form picture and form what can like you say design like yeah you do, like drawing and design like, yeah design like a and... artist course kind of Ex exactly um and there i met a girl who also liked anime and manga and games um and uh, we sat sat down and draw like a lot of pictures from different games characters and symbols and stuff like that and in the ending we were it was a lunch break and uh, we were just sitting and then in the ending i was like i would love to dress up as my favorite character why can't we do that anywhere and uh, then she told me she was like lara it's called cosplay <laughs> there is a thing in sweden i was like what and then a year after that i went to my first convention and as ayane from dead or alive and i was so freaking scared to have it on because i was like this is not well done uh, but everybody was so freaking nice about it and uh, after that i couldn't stop cosplaying so yeah now i'm here sitting <laughs> now you're here like you're streaming Barry. with me could it like it's the top of your career no <laughs> <laughs> no i'm done I, I i'm just gonna go step close <laughs> it's just gonna go up from here believe me um and uh now like you're streaming and you're working with cosplay is it like full like almost full time i guess like or like mm? how like, much do I you work with it uh it's Full time, like sometimes there is uh, nothing that's happening. Then it's like, then I can do what uh, what I want. And uh, because I usually how do you save 
money, so I have yeah, money. <laughs> right, for the dry <laughs> so periods. Need... Exactly, the... because as a freelancer, it's always like there's a lot of work, and then there's a little work, and there's a lot of work. So you always need to like think about everything, and uh, uh, oh, you always think about everything, but you understand what I mean. I like, uh, uh, but uh, <clears throat> otherwise it's full time, and uh, when hmm. I have when I don't have any event to go do, then I usually stream a lot and uh, just want to talk with everybody, how everybody's feeling. And <sighs> So do you, do you feel like uh, streaming is a, like a, a good investment of your time for something that you, do you want to build it up, like build it bigger in mm. the future and make it part of your work life? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like a, with, that could actually bring in money and like be something mm. that that way and how how do you see will it like take over from your cosplay or will it just <laughs> be like a, a nice marriage between uh cosplaying and like and crafting on mm. because naturally like you already do you can craft on your stream mm. but uh i hope it's gonna go hand in hand so it can be planned together but sometimes it's really hard but the, before uh um it was just like oh, i stream when i uh, feel like i want to stream but now i'm like so into it so i wanna do it like all the time because it's so freaking nice to talk with everybody like it's so insane like people from all over the world yeah. is talking and it's like oh how's the weather in there they're like yeah i'm here and it's cold oh i'm here it's really hot and it's so freaking nice like uh, in the beginning when i started streaming i was so scared about it i was like hi guys hello but now it's like uh, i just love it so i hope i can like uh, right now i can combine it kind of good with when i'm working with cosplay uh but sometimes i need to take the break because if there's a cosplay i really need to finish quickly mm. um then i need to take a break from the stream because then i really need to just like do it as quickly as possible um right. but uh yeah in the future i hope i can uh, work it together really good. I want to have some kind of workplace I can go to where the stream is up all the time. And then I can oh. come there eight in the morning, have the stream 24 seven, then go home and be like, hey guys. Uh, so that's like my dream to do. So have the stream, like but still work with the cosplay stuff to other companies. Like a crafting studio, yeah, which is also a streaming studio and they're exactly. like two in one. Like with yeah. work benches and like workplaces and like with all the tools and yeah, cameras exactly. in all angles. And you got like, like a remote control controlling yeah. the angles. <laughs> oh, shit. Can... <laughs> and then you That's can see like big. from top down, from the side, like you got both the face cam and like what you're doing. And like but have you seen uh, P Pani Punish Prop? I might be saying Punish Prop. Punish, not Punish. Uh, I need to. Uh, uh she he does like a lot of like um uh, cosplay stuff or statues and stuff for different uh gaming companies and uh he has done like streaming in his mm. like working place and it's insane i'm like what i want that it's the next level next limit because baby it's um i feel like both gaming and crafting creative streamers like there's so much uh, possibilities like what you can yeah. do because you decide what to put on the screen and like what to show and you can you can do whatever you want with it like and yeah. you can add cameras you can be in different locations you can exactly live stream like you did that dream hack you're walking around with oh. selfie stick and, and you too and it was me too. It and that's was how we so... met yeah yeah <laughs> that was so awesome because i thought there would be more streamers right on dream hack uh walking around and streaming but was... i didn't see so many so i was like when i saw you i was like oh wait sorry my God. <laughs> okay yeah go ahead uh just to explain what you just heard was a sound yeah. effect from the the live stream so everyone heard oh barry playing in the background you didn't laura oh, good for you <laughs> no i didn't hear uh i have no idea what's going on i i turned i turned it up um okay. but that's how we met and um uh, yeah uh, and it was just almost just you 
and I that was streaming with selfie sticks. <laughs> yeah, I guess there because was streaming, yeah. I saw uh, I saw uh, one more, and then I had my two friends who also streams. One of them streams Overwatch, and uh, uh, the other one uh, streams a little bit Overwatch. No gameplay and uh, cosplay. And uh, when I was uh, streaming there, they were like, oh my God, we need to do it too. And the next day they were also walking around there like, yeah, yeah. it was so awesome to like get more and more people to do it because it's inspired people. Yeah. And also, but are you going to do more like uh, ERL streams? Um, yeah, IRL. I feel like it's a big, uh, there's a big opportunity to mm do something that like you can show your viewers more about who you are and where yeah. you live and and where you go and what you do mm. in in your life so i definitely i'm thinking about it and i'm i have something coming up that i will live stream that's like a irl event it's like mm. i have a barbecue for <gasps> my oh. like an old berry barbecue on the, that's freaking nice on the 21st of july so it's going to mm -hmm. be like an open event for people that you know that have been watching my stream or yeah, are, can come like, and... friends of the stream or whatever mm -hmm. uh, they can come and just uh hang out chill and barbecue mm -hmm. play volleyball and uh that's so freaking like, nice and then, when are you gonna have it a 21st yeah. of july um 21st and and I want to live stream it. So I want to have like it all live streamed on the selfie stick, mm. you know, <laughs> so that oh. even people that are, can't come to Sweden, obviously. They uh, see it anyways. Like, yeah, yeah they can be part doing. of the barbecue anyway. I think yeah. it could be really nice. It, it's going to be fairly small, but it's going to be very cozy and fun, I think. That's the best thing. Have it cozy. <laughs> yeah. There's actually uh, the last, my last guest, Sarah, mm -hmm. Life of Cosplay, she is an American, but she has been stationed in Turkey, working in Turkey. So. And now this summer she's traveling in Europe. So she will come by Sweden and join the barbecue. Oh, that's <laughs> so freaking awesome. So I'm thinking like the, the just uh, about having like maybe like we could have like a streaming meetup, like a streaming thing every year for streamers in Sweden. In like, Sweden. I don't know. Like, yeah. is there such a thing like just for uh, uh, um, like a meetup or like a thing for streamers just like I for, don't... I don't know. No, I think only places like, no, I don't know, like DreamHack. <laughs> it feels like there, but it's so much people. Exactly. Uh, uh, and it's not for streamers. Yeah, exactly. Really. It's, uh, it's... Uh, but other, otherwise, ha have you seen the um, uh, Ar Ar Arvia, also with the car, uh, Poseidon, when they were driving 24 seven in, it was on youtube live because he's banned on twitch <laughs> what rv rv yeah they were like i want to do this kind of stream they were like they had a camera in the rv and then they drove uh to dreamhack into another place and they streamed like two weeks or one week i think 24 7 wow. and when they went out they stream it with their uh mobile phones uh but you could al uh, always see the uh the car inside of the car and that i was like oh my god that's so freaking good idea like that would be amazing like let's what start do they Stockholm. stream when they're sleeping what what's... they just sleep they just sleep <laughs> i <laughs> joked about my viewers like about like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna stream 24 7 i'm gonna put up my webcam you can watch me sleep <laughs> <laughs> you, you, get, you get you get <laughs> not you showing get any we can't show any skin. It has to be very like careful yeah. not to violate any Twitch rules. You, you, you're gonna have like a morph suit on you, like a morph? green morph suit. Green, like green for morph. Green screen, and <laughs> yeah. then green screen me, and it's just be my head floating around. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cheap to buy those. Or no, they are not cheap anymore because it's so I, popular. I thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> You should do it, or otherwise, when you're sleeping, you have all green, everything, and then you are green too. So it's like only your head in the bed. They can see you like sleeping on the clouds or something. Sleeping in the clouds. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a crazy idea. 
<laughs> oh, we we went totally we went, off track. <laughs> we went far. We went far. I like it. It it was related still to streaming and and stuff. yeah, exactly. So it's That's it's true. okay. And even like I feel like it does everything we talk about on this podcast doesn't necessarily have to be like you know it has to be. But we I mean we talked about the mm -hmm. World Cup. It's just fun. Yeah to talk about stuff that that's but like is it isn't that a joke in the gaming area with the world cup what, what do you mean you're looking no 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 because uh i don't i think i saw was it another uh, something that was going on they were like uh oh, so have you seen the football match tonight or something Okay, I missed it. No, I asked you because I was just curious. I thought it curious. was a good way to start the conversation, get oh. the conversation going as well. So I was like, hmm, is this a joke no. or is this real? Then I was like, yeah, I looked at it. So <laughs> no, I wasn't joking. I don't. I haven't heard. I haven't heard that. There's pro there are probably lots of memes and and mm. jokes about the World Cup because it's such a big thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So what what have we missed here? I feel like there is a gap here. I mean, um, you, what's what? What do you kind of material? Maybe I usually use. I I kind of know what it is. Okay, it's something then. foam. Yeah. Mm -hmm, foam. <laughs> a, a EVA foam. <laughs> EVA foam. No, I guess so, so, so why just, why do you use the? So it's for like the, people, the yoga mats. So for people who can't see this, this is like a thick foam yeah. that is like will you say like a yoga mat on the inside yeah like yoga mats like then you the, usually, or training mats training mat and then on the outside it's just the same surface on the it's outside same. Like you, uh it's same. usually this uh, scrubby uh, like a pattern uh on the other side that you put on the floor and on the other side it's really clean and beautiful uh so usually cosplayers mm. use that and heat it and form it so that's a good material for you guys. <laughs> you, okay, mm. yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, if you heat it up, you can bend it into any exactly. shape or form and then you can, so it fits yeah. you like, do you put it on your, like you, you heat it up and then you put it on your body to make it like the right, uh, or do you just, how do you know mm. when, or do you uh, have to heat it up many times and like adjust it little? Yeah, bit? You need, yeah. Uh, heat it up, put it in uh, if you are going to do a hand, but be careful because it can get really, really That's hot. That's what I thought. Gun. Uh, but like put it on carefully and then bend it uh, like more, heat it more, bend it, heat it more, bend it. And in the end, it, it, it's going to be the form you want to have it. But so this is your job. But when did you realize that you could actually work with this and not not have to work at uh, a grocery store um, or anything else? <laughs> just to I just I, to, uh, so. uh, I was uh, studying computer graphic and animation in um, so I was thinking about first working with animation in gaming companies. And uh, the last year I was doing animation to a gaming company, 3D animations, and it was really, really fun. Uh, mm. But then I did my Leona cosplay uh, from League of Legends, uh, big armor, sword and shield, and uh, I just fell in love with it. So I, there I needed to like kind of decide if I wanted to try mm. to continue with this or try to uh work with animation and i love both of them really much so i usually animate still small things now and mm. then i'm like uh but in the beginning it was so like so hard of course i had like uh uh i was working at game when game was still <laughs> and uh sometimes I, it was really hard with money so i just took like stuff i could find at home and I was like, yeah, I can use this and reuse this part and just try to like spare money as much as possible. Uh, and after that, they're just building up like slowly, slowly building up. Mm. And uh, yeah, and, and now, uh, now I'm here, but I want to, I want to better, better. I want to do better. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to do? What are you trying to do here, Laura? <laughs> I don't even know. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> what am I here? Some days I'm like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> Uh um, yes yeah, so, so do you ever feel like do you ever feel down and like I'm quitting or like do you just feel like crap 
or yeah. are you always motivated uh, and happy? No, some days are really, 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 really bad. Like uh, uh, two years, uh, it was two years ago, uh, there was a big, big incident in our family. And uh, after that, I was like, I didn't do shit. Like I didn't have the energy. I didn't want to do anything. And I was like, uh, but in uh, instead, I was like, I started to work with uh, my Captain Misfortune cosplay, and I was like, okay, I'm I'm gonna put as much energy I can put on this cosplay and see how it goes. And then I did it, and it felt much better. And uh, yeah, yeah, it went better and better. But there's still like few. That's why I have told my followers and everybody. Usually, when I disappear for a little while it's because when i'm down like because of the um i i have a really hard to talk about it because i get so emotional like i feel like uh, uh but the, that's okay we don't have to go into details mm. about anything but it was uh so it's usually want... like but otherwise when i hear from my followers and everybody they're like oh it's so awesome that you're back how are you feeling then i'm like Hell yeah, I'm gonna do this. Like these, these guys, these pancakes that I call them, my followers, my supporters. I'm like, I just wanna be with them. They give me positive energy, and uh, that's why I just wanna continue. Like, uh, and my family, they have been supporting me really good. So I'm like, I need to do it. I'm gonna try, and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna do something else that I like. Cool. So, um, now we're talking really long time. That was good. It's interesting. I think it's interesting to get to see, like that, uh, even behind the the coolest cosplay mm -hmm. costume, below the surface, there is a human being mm -hmm. who is maybe sometimes have some issues in their life. <laughs> it yeah. just makes them like real. Uh, but and exactly, and it's okay. sometimes like like in uh, nowadays it's so important that everybody is like always trying to show the perfection mm. every time that they have the best life ever but in real life it's like there's shit days like there's pretty shitty days like you heard it here first <laughs> sometimes <laughs> we have shitty days <laughs> don't do nothing is eat ice cream that's my deal eat ice cream look at yeah what net, like <laughs> series Netflix. tv shows yeah exactly eat yes. ice cream play assassin's creed exactly oh yes oh <laughs> <laughs> oh assassin's <laughs> i'm just gonna go away i look so i i i don't have so much color as your picture i mean i have I just like, for it. the people that are watching so like my green screen we had to turn it off today because laura has her cosplay outfit in the background and it has green in it so if i remove the green uh, uh from from uh, the background my it's background gonna... it's gonna look like black holes uh in your cosplay outfit and 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 also, like a lot of people, I think this since this is a podcast format, the visuals aren't the most important thing. Like we're not. No. Is people are if they are listening, like they're probably just maybe like l watching something else or like playing games or reading, like or are walking or like they uh, maybe. So it, yeah. it's okay, but um, you look great, Laura. You don't have to worry about a thing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Try to no. <laughs> try I don't to care. accept it. I, just, I try and, to accept it. I will never accept. I mean, you said that. Uh, ice cream. I I tell I I talk about chocolate on ice cream instead of ice cream. Yeah. I say like, you deserve yeah. you deserve chocolate, chocolate. because you're amazing. Mm -hmm. like, that's why I say, uh, have a piece of chocolate when you mm. to make chocolate you feel is... better. It's okay to have to, like <laughs> comfort yourself with something. Not eat thousands kilos of chocolate in one Choc day that's not what i'm saying that's not what i'm telling my view maybe some nights <laughs> ice cream thousand kilos is still <laughs> too much for anyone you're just bathing in chocolate melt chocolate you're like oh, swimming in it yeah <laughs> 
playing some games at the same time like yeah imagine oh, the no. controller or the keyboard just oh. with the, all that melted chocolate everywhere how Ooh. how do you did it we didn't think about it we have to come up with a good solution <laughs> Maybe. oh damn need to have like this plastic gloves or something plastic uh, on the controller or maybe something. you can sit in a big tub that is filled with chocolate melted chocolate and <laughs> you can like have your hands outside oh shit <laughs> it oh no laura's cosplay <laughs> outfit just fell down is oh, it okay no. I survived. It survived. It's just the uh, Eva foam, so it's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Um, it's up there again. What what are you like? What is it you um, is motivating you? Why are you doing this with the cosplay with the stream? What is it that you want to experience with it or give to others with it? Like, what is at the core of why you are doing this? Like, why <laughs> is it? interesting or fun for you why do you love it uh in the beginning uh it was just like uh doing cosplay outfits for myself just walking around and uh, so on uh but nowadays i have been thinking about it a lot like it's important that the people or the younger who are coming after us who also want to come to into cosplaying we need to like uh, show them what kind of materials and stuff because when I started, there was just in. It sounds like I'm really, really old. I'm not that old, but like, uh, there was really hard to find any tutorials and so on. So now I think like it's uh, more to show people what kind of materials you can use, uh, how you can paint, and also learn from other people what kind of uh, um, what to use to make a cosplay and uh, just have like fun meet people with the same interest learn from them i i teach them learn together build awesome stuff yeah i don't cool. know yeah Sounds that's amazing. the most it's amazing it's amazing you need to do <laughs> We're gonna everyone to your... <laughs> you need to start crafting amazing yeah. cosplay outfits otherwise your life is ruined exactly you will have a boring <laughs> life no but, no but uh, that's why you do it and that's why you are in love with it yeah so that's very that's that's beautiful just like representing the characters that you love in your way i love it yeah yeah and, and uh, if if you're coming to narcon next no in two weeks maybe i can take something with me so you can have it on <laughs> All oh, right. Oh me? Oh you're, you're not talking <laughs> yeah, to the you. dude. You're talking to me. Oh like a, uh, do, would you could I maybe I can fit into one of your uh I I think outfits. you could uh, you could be a sexy widowmaker. No. Uh, yeah, you, baby. Maybe you could. Sexy widowmaker. <laughs> I believe. Or, okay, or maybe not. You you could have um Timo. That's kind of Timo. <laughs> yeah. He's cute. I love Timo. Yeah. We just That's went from be sexy badass Widowmaker to Timo. <laughs> it's a big step. Cute Timo. <laughs> <laughs> Timo from League of Legends, the little guy with a hunting hat and a f like the a... The devil in the game. Yeah, he's crazy. It's well, a, with he's the a troll. With the mushrooms. With the mushrooms. He put them down yeah. in mines. It's crazy. And he what's he you... called? Like the thing that he's got a blow, like a, um, um, a stick that he blows through. Like yeah. a, I don't know. It I looks like a flute, either. but he blows a dark, blows dark. It's like a bam bamboo, bamboo uh, wood, pipe. Uh, and uh, yeah, Blowing bamboo darts. pipe, <laughs> shooting darts. Yeah, I didn't you... do a good job I... explaining that, but <laughs> they, they, you, you get the picture. Yes. No, but okay. you're. Well, I'm tall. I'm really tall. But it's okay. Not really, really okay. tall. Okay. Yeah. You're okay, you but can, uh, you can maybe... hide in the bushes and be like. I can, I can be a Fortnite camper. I can just have a bush and run around in a bush. <laughs> that, that would be freaking enough. <laughs> Isn't that a good idea? Oh, fun idea? Like a funny idea? That, uh, I would do... Uh, oh, damn. I want to do that now. Yeah. I'm going to steal your idea. <laughs> no, you, you, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, you could probably... I mean, you can make it. I can't make it. So I want you to steal my ideas. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Now I'm thinking how I should make it. I think I know maybe how. How but do you, you make don't... a bush? Like how do you make it create a bush 
as a cosplay costume. Like, do you take? You can't take real branches. I, I guess you could, but we like get the leaves. I, yeah, I, I was thinking about more the bush bush form. It's like this, isn't it? Like, uh, like yeah. round, not yeah. The, round. <laughs> yeah, kind of roundish. But, yeah. Yeah. So I was thinking about maybe could do like uh first make a bag out of uh, sew a bag of fabric and then put some uh, uh, that you have in uh, uh, kuddar. What's the stuffing in the pillows? Stuffing in there and then you can put on the pillow like. Uh, sew on it like small small leaves yeah. like a lot of leaves yeah and it would be have the form right but oh my god so like would like leaves almost like feathers on a bird like layers and layers of leaves exactly. all around it hmm I, I know. very interesting i don't i'm <laughs> not convinced if it's a good idea or if it's a bad idea but <laughs> it's a funny idea and that's why that's why i like it the most oh i found someone who has done quite good a Fortnite camper? Uh, they or a, have ca done... a bush camper? It's, or is a, a, it's a real it's... character? That's pretty uh, crazy. Uh, here is... Before we go any further here <gasps> and start going too deep into these crazy Quis topics, yeah. very deep topics, I think maybe we're coming to an end of yeah. this podcast. And then oh, the people who are watching on Twitch, uh, you can stick around, we'll have a Q&A. But... For those of you who uh, have been listening to the podcast, uh, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, you're welcome to my stream, the Over stream. And you can also absolutely, you should check out Laura underscore craft and her stream. Thank Give her you. a follow and show her love and support. And you can go uh, and hang out with her anytime she's live. Uh, also check out her Facebook and Instagram as well. And uh, thank you, Laura, so much for being on thank the podcast. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Bye. Okay, we're saying goodbye. Bye. Bye.